Right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. We've got another insane tour for you today. We're in Northwood in Greater London, where we're gonna be showing you inside this stunning home behind me, but we'll stick a map up on the screen so you can see exactly where we are in the country. Now, the property is at 15 million pounds and it's listed with Dan from the agency group. It's got six bedrooms, seven bathrooms, and over 13,000 square feet absolutely huge we've got some really cutting edge design inside some luxury finishes and some insane features as well we've got a whole basement dedicated to a spa suite we've got a downstairs bar as well it's incredible i cannot wait to get inside so let's just kick this tour off as we come in we have two separate electronic gates that open up into the property so you can actually drive in and out without having to turn around yes. we have this lovely cobbled drive and some great landscaping as well. We've got some plants all the way around the edges. I love the red brick, the white render, and the sort of the dark finishes, the features around the windows. Yeah. We've got the huge black door as well that has biometric access with a fingerprint scanner. We've got a double garage behind me as well. Lovely Range Rover. <laughs> <laughs> and I just want to show you guys from the outside this incredible glass box. This glass encased staircase is what it is really. It's absolutely massive. You'll see it more when we go inside, but yeah. yeah, just wanted to briefly show you guys that. So I think we should head inside and get this tour kicked off, Jazz. What do you reckon? Yep, let's go. Let's do it. You join us inside now. We're in the entrance hall where we've got massive and massive of space. We can see all the way through to the garden. We've actually got a Crestron panel here, which you can control all of the lights and the heating and stuff from, so yeah. it makes it super convenient. But yeah, we've got this massive gallery landing section that looks down over the front door with these hanging lights that you can actually see from outside. Yeah. We've got some great artwork as well. Floating staircase here that goes all the way up to the first floor. I just wanna show you this little art section here. It's almost like an art gallery. I think it's yeah. definitely worth showing you guys. We've got some really cool pieces here. And then we have access down to the bottom floor, but we're gonna show you that a little bit later on. I love that these tiles have sort of the detailing within them. Yes, if you look closer, it's kind of like um, henna. Yeah, exactly. It looks like the henna pattern. Yeah, I see that. But yeah, we've got really, really wide, high ceilings as well. Awesome, loads of space. We're gonna head into the first room here. We have a study right by the front of the property with some really cool ambient lighting in the shelves as well. And then we're gonna head back through some great decorative pieces here. Yeah. Look awesome, don't they? And then we've got another study through here, but this one's significantly larger. It's like a little library in here. Yes, exactly. Got some awesome artwork up behind the desk, but we've got a seating area in here as well as a TV. Doubles up. Not only is it a study, but it's also kind of like your own private little lounge. Yeah. Lots of workspaces here as well. Oh yeah, I love these two, like if you have two little kids doing their homework, they yeah. can sit there. you can watch them, make sure they're working. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I like this room. And we've got the, the yeah, the, the black wood flooring all the way through that room as well. Matches we see that on the rooms that come off of, yeah, this main hallway. We're going to head to the bottom of this little corridor where we have this lovely little studio slash lounge. <gasps> I love this room. This sofa is so cool as well, right? It is. Awesome. Got lots of different colour themes on here. We've actually got a little, little bar set up there too. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, look, they even have the Kendall Jenner tequila. This one, right? 818. <laughs> okay, so let's head back down the corridor. I'm just going to point out a few things to you as we come through. We've got some storage in here, access to that there. And then we've got a utility section in here with all the washing machines and stuff. Peek ahead. Yep, we've actually got his and hers toilet with the badges on them as well. We've got some really cool ambient lighting. We've actually got a bonsai tree in there too. Ooh. So that's how you secure the vibes, the bonsai tree. And then in hers, a similar design, again with the ambient lighting and the toilets look really cool too. They're like egg shaped. Oh yeah, they're so cool. <laughs> but we're gonna head on into this open plan space now. It's actually roughly 1,600 square feet just in this open plan section. Yeah, that's so there's crazy. tons of room. And yeah, that leads us on to this dining table here. Wow. Perfectly positioned in front of these dual aspect glass walls slash windows, but they're literally mm. like floor to ceiling. Yeah. Awesome size, great views out to the garden. We're gonna show you all of that area in just a bit. So stay tuned yeah. for that. I know Jazz, you like these, right? The little spinny turntables oh, yeah, so you I can love pass them. your food around with that. 
getting yeah, up. Yeah, I just love convenient. how circular this all is. So look, you've got the table, even the light fixture above, and then you've got the mirror yeah. as well. It just looks so, like, yeah, like such a luxury finish on it. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, great symmetry. And also, you can see the light reflections in the spoons, and I think it makes yeah, it look like Yeah, you can actually sparkling. see the lights. Yeah, the lights in the spoons, you notice that. Okay, so now let's head on into this kitchen space. We've got an absolutely huge workbench slash kitchen island. Oh my Again, gosh. with the dark wood throughout here as well. So I like that theme. Yes. It's sort of kept to that throughout the house. There's only yeah. really one type of wood, which I think looks great. Yes. We've got Gaganau appliances integrated throughout the kitchen, this hob. We've actually got a gas hob as well, which is cool. You've got the option to have both. Mm -hmm. Then we've got the oven, microwave oven, plate warmer, everything you could think you possibly need We've got it. We've even got two cooker taps. Yeah. That's Very a convenient. Really good mix of like local building materials yeah. and like the high end designer appliances. We've got here. the skylight as well above yeah. myself and Jazz going wow. all the way from one end, one side to the other, which looks awesome. Jazz, if you head round the bench, just sort of look back at me this way. We have the Sub Zero fridge and freezer with the wine cooler as well, but nice. absolutely massive. And I'm going to take you into this pantry. We've got the sort of pocket handles here. So we pull them out. Oh, wow. And we have a nice, oh yeah, hidden away pantry. I think that's really cool how you can just sort of Definitely. keep those bits out of the way. So like coffee machine, stuff like that. You don't want yeah. them out on, Reduce on show. Reduce clutter. Reduce clutter, exactly. And then next to Jazz, we actually have a, like a service room, oh, which yeah. has a lift in it so that you can send food from the kitchen down to the bottom floor. Yeah. And that's where the spa is with all the pool and everything. We're yeah. going to show you that in just a bit, honestly. I'm buzzing for that. We've got lots of Italian seats here on this breakfast bar. It's actually a Catalan Italia seats. They're sort of specialised oh, wow. in their unique shapes. Nice. You can see that yeah. from those with the sort of strange lumbar support, but it actually really does work. It's very comfy. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> lots of ambient lighting through here too, which looks great. Yes. And some sort of undercover storage. So now we're going to head into this lounge area. Huge amounts of seatings, very soft. I think I need to do the sit test on this one because it looks very comfy. Go on then. Oh yeah, I can see myself sat here watching, watching a movie or something. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got a fireplace here as well as these sort of low coffee tables. I really like the interior design here. We've got the blues and the whites, yeah. same as the cushions. Everything really matches. You can tell it's been very well thought out. Yeah, but can you see the size of that TV, Tom? <laughs> it's huge, right? It's huge, and I like the fact that it matches the gloss kind of line at the bottom where the fireplace yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, I see really what you mean. Yeah, it looks great, it doesn't it? Makes it seem very symmetrical. And it's set into there, yes. so it's like really bespoke. It looks very neat. It's awesome, we've actually opened up these uh, sliding doors that come out to the garden, oh, yeah. so you could get a sort of a better aspect of the garden. And I just think it looks so great and seamless how they slide all the way into the wall. Yeah, definitely. So you don't have half a door sticking out. It's just a massive open space overhanging. Looks pretty cool, doesn't it, Jazz? Looks so good. I like the fact that all the <coughs> lights in here are kind of like embedded into the ceiling. Yeah, for so sure. And I just hanging. want to point out these as well. We actually <gasps> have three awards that this home has. Best residential property in Middlesex, best residential property in the UK. So it's won lots of awards and we can see why, because it is a stunning home. Yeah, the interior design in here is awesome. Yes, it's a beautiful house. We've got access here that heads out towards like the sort of side access from the front yeah. garden, I mean the front drive, sorry. And a great water feature there too. But we're gonna head down now and show you guys the bottom floor of this property. This basement is absolutely insane. So come with me show you that one. So you now join us in the basement level of the property, which is essentially your very own spa suite. So in here we have your very own gym, fitness suite equipped with cardio machines, free weights and some machines as well, but we've got a great view overlooking your pool. We're gonna head in there in a second and show you that. We've got some more to show you first. So we're gonna head back into this entrance hall. We've got a couple of storage cupboards in here. Heading down, all of this wall is glass looking out over that pool, which looks incredible. We have that service lift that we mentioned in the kitchen here too, mm -hmm. as well as a sort of utility space, but great for preparing for your guests. We have a sauna to the left inside these sort of misted glass doors, which I kind yeah. of just immediately reminds me of Japan. Which oh, I mean yeah. the Japanese doors, but yeah, this is absolutely huge. If you sort of poke your nose in here, Jazz. Oh, yeah. You see how big this is. Yeah, it's so good. You feel like eight people in here for yeah, sure. It's really big. The ambient lighting in here looks awesome as well. The wood looks so clean. I know that sounds so stupid to say. Yeah, but... <laughs> yeah it does. Okay, and then we have an access point to the swimming pool here. So should we head in? Yeah. 
Ooh. Wow, nice and warm in here. As you can probably tell by the difference in sound, these glass windows are incredibly soundproof. Yeah. Very careful backing up across there, Jack. <laughs> I'm being careful. Look how much space is in here, guys. This is huge, right? Now, the floor of this pool is actually retractable, so you can bring it all the way up and turn it into a dance floor. Oh, yeah, and you've got the mirrors above as well, which when you're in the hallway, they reflect yeah. the kind of garden outside. It just feels like a real, I don't know, like tropical hub in here. Exactly, yeah. We've got the sort of live wall outside as well, which we'll show you later, but great views out to that little terrace there. I'll hold the door open for you. Thank you. Now we're going to go through this little corridor here. So we've actually got our very own massage room in here with a really cool light. I'm oh, um, yeah. sorry, not a light, a sink. Yeah, that's so cool. So Can check out this tap. It goes all the way up. It's like a big drop. <laughs> it's pretty sorry. cool, right? Yeah. Using gravity, the water doesn't have to climb. It just falls down because we're below ground. That's a really good point. Then we have two changing facilities, his and hers. Again, we've got the men's in here with a toilet and a shower, but we actually go into the women's because it's a little bit bigger. But yeah, this oh, is yeah. huge. Let me just turn the light. Oh yeah, that's better. There we go. So we've got, wow. yeah, literally changing room in here. So well equipped. Toilet in there with that egg shaped toilet too. Yeah. <laughs> See a few of those and then a shower in there as well. But Honestly, it feels like such a spa down here, yeah. doesn't it? This isn't even like the principal suites bathroom either. This is just like a bathroom for your guests and yourselves yeah. when you're in the spa. But now we're gonna head on into this lounge area. Absolutely huge open plan room where we have this kind of wall here, oh, yeah, we'll which actually here. has a TV in it, but also a projector, uh, yes. a projector screen that comes down for your very own cinema room. Yeah. It's really cool. I like how they've designed this whole area so that you can kind of come down from the top floor without mm -hmm. accessing all of that spa suite. You can, yes. it's a stair set behind Jazz. So yeah. relaxing. Can really keep it all very separate is what I mean. Um, and then we've got all these candles here. Just create a nice mood. Yeah, they're lovely. Some great artwork in this bespoke cabinetry too. I love the samurai men. Yeah, they're cool, aren't they? So now Jazz is currently backing up through your very own private bar, which is equipped well enough for like some of the best clubs in London and hotels. It's so insane. Love all of this cabinetry here with the mood lighting. We've oh, got yeah. a bunch of fridges as well. And we've also got a Range Rover. Well, I mean, I'll show you Jazz. It's a bottle. That is a Range Rover. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty cool, Yeah, this right? has given me TB to working behind a bar. Yeah, throwbacks. Yep. Okay, so now we come out the other side. I'm going to show you these bar stools here. Wow. So we've got the ambient lighting all the way through. I love the stone they've used on top of this. Yeah, such good texture. Looks incredible. And then these lights just kind of add to that texture, creating some sort of shadows there. Which look yeah. awesome. So cool, right? Imagine having this below your home. I know. So sick. Right, and then we've got the same style sofa this side looking the other way, more of a sort of formal lounge where you might sit and have some drinks with your guests, have a good chat. Yeah. And then, I like these kind of floodlights as well. Yes, yes, super well lit there. And then we head through into this insane room with a full size snooker table. Wow. Oh my God, I'm going to stay here. That's humongous. Pretty cool, right? We've got the, uh, the purple felt which yeah. is very different from the standard green, but works incredibly in this property. Yeah, and look how symmetrical it is with the kind of it's like chain mail. above. <laughs> yeah. On the outsides here. Oh I've used gosh, those yeah. over the pillars on the bar as well, but it looks awesome. The interior design in here is incredible. It's worth noting actually that the owner of this property um, actually has their own interior design company. Yeah, it's so good. Yeah, so that's exactly why you're noticing so many great interior design finishes in this property. Yeah, is it Moder Moderno? Yes, Moderno Interiors. So it's specializing in modern interiors, as you can probably tell, it's exactly what we've got here. Then we have an access point out to this little sunken terrace here, as well as stairs that go up to the top floor, not the top floor, sorry, the ground, the ground floor. floor. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, Jazz is gonna show you this now and head out and show us all the garden because it is insane. So should yeah. we swap over? Yeah. Yeah, we'll meet you out there. We'll meet you out there. So we've just come out of the access point from the relaxation room. We've got access points to the pool, which is just here. And yeah, we've got this sunken down outdoor area. And as you can see, we have got this incredible live wall. So everything on this wall is living. And I think that's so cool. It's like a vertical garden almost. Yeah. We've got the glass balustrades all around, keeping it really safe from above. But it's so cool to just be able to 
look down on that, I think. And the glass even curves around, which yeah. is awesome. That is so cool, isn't it? We've got a little bit of lawn space over there, but coming on here is the main area. So we've got this large tiled kind of section here behind me. This is so cool, isn't it, Tom? We've yeah. got an outdoor kitchen with, you know, a roof over, a circular roof. We've even got seating areas, kind of like a little breakfast area. Yeah, a little Plenty barbecue in there as well. I say little, it's little, not little at big all. Big barbecue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very big barbecue. And then here we have this nice seating area. I find, find it really cool how the couches fit around the table perfectly yeah, when you move them. And then coming over here, we have kind of like, it's giving me like fire pit, fire pit vibes. Fire pit, yeah. Yeah, so we've got the fire there. This nice L-shaped outdoor couch with a low coffee table too. Now, as you can see, we've opened the doors up here. Yes. And it just, it looks amazing, doesn't it? It's like it's hanging over. Yeah, so that is sure. the living space, which creates such an open feel. Yeah, I'll just have a little look back so you can yeah. see that area, guys, because it looks stunning. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, wow. nice. Got some more seating areas here, and I love this, Tom. Go on, hop in. <laughs> it's like the world's biggest pram. <laughs> yeah, it's like a baby Yoda pod. Yeah, that's cool. Keeps you in the shade. Wanna head up there? Yeah, let's go. So we're coming up here. Awesome but, tree seat up here. Yeah, I know, it's so cool, isn't it? It's worth noting that over there, we have another access to the front of the property through the side. And it's also got like a nice little water feature, which looks really pretty. Yeah. But yeah, this is very grand, don't you think? Yeah, yeah. Look how huge it is. What? Around this massive oak tree. I was about to call it an acorn tree. An acorn tree. No yeah, way. All this seating, I think it's so cool. Like imagine having like a party out here. Yeah, it's a great space, isn't it? Definitely. Right, coming on back down the wood. And I love how it is all wooden up there. So it matches the yeah. tree, essentially. The century, truly, get it? Oh, I was gonna make a tree pun, didn't work. Dead banter. <laughs> anyway, so we're coming up here. We've got really cool steps. Yeah. Haven't we? They're like yeah, grass like the, and the, the steel. steel. Yeah. But yeah. It's like an Out amphitheater, course. the way it curves around those yeah, steps. Yeah, isn't it? <laughs> it's so cool. We've got nice landscaping around too with all the flora and fauna. It's very... Alive. Alive. <laughs> Is that the word you're looking well, for? Brilliant. <laughs> yeah. We've got the Buddha statue as well. Fun fact is when you have them in your homes, you have to place them. I think it's northeast, which this one is facing. So yeah, fun fact for you there. <laughs> so that's really cool. And it's even got a little pond around yeah, it. It's actually two tons this. It oh, came yeah. all the way from India. Yes. So apparently it took two cranes to lower it down into the garden. Yeah. It's pretty cool, right? It's like a marble finish yeah, on it. Yeah, it is gorgeous. Yeah. Right, so we're going on a bit of an explore, haven't we? We haven't actually been up here. Yeah, let's check it out. So let's go, we've got so this. It's like a divide, right? Yeah, it's like a hedge, yeah, hedge divide. And then coming on over here, wow. So this is kind of the tennis court area. Yeah, the lawn area. So you yeah. could, yeah, set it up for tennis. Sort of what this area is designed for, I believe. But yeah. A great area of lawn nonetheless. Definitely, and we have this little podium here too, like a little observatory area that's raised off of the ground. But yeah, we've got tons of space in this garden. It's also beautifully landscaped too, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Stunning. Should we uh, head round and have a look back to the property? Yeah, let's do it. So much greenery here, isn't there? We yeah. are so close to like the woods as well in Northwood. And yes. we actually saw a deer in her. Yeah, there's a little baby area. deer. Yeah. It just sort of stumbled its way into the garden yeah. side exploring like we are now. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I want to have a little look back at the house because it is exceptional, isn't it, Tom? Absolutely, like, yeah, it looks so good. The design of it is awesome, but I'm going to take you guys now into the bedrooms. So let's just head upstairs and I'll meet you guys there. Let's do it. We're now up on the first floor of the house. And as you can see, we've got windows out to the front of the property, this galleried landing looking over the ground floor. And we even have like the curved glass balustrades, which is really cool. We can see the lights so well here. And we've got the nice wooden floor, but I'm gonna take you in to this set of bedrooms here. Now we come in here and you can automatically see how symmetrical it is. Yes. So we've got two bedrooms here, and I'm gonna take you in this one and you'll figure out that the rooms are identical to each other. So they're pretty yeah. much mirrored this whole Literally. little wing of the house. So yeah, here we have this gorgeous bedroom. I think it's got a very like luxurious finish to it. 
We've got the double bed in the middle with this kind of carpet surrounding it. So when you get out of bed in the morning, you don't have to step onto like cold wooden floors yeah, straight away. Yeah, it's a shock, away. right? You can put your we, sliders on. Yeah. We've got the massive windows here. We also have a balustrade here because you can open this one up, let a lot of air in. Nice wardrobe section and a little desk too. And it's worth noting that here, this door does open to the room next to it. So you can, you know, it's go like a between Jack and Jill. Yeah, kind of. So now I'm gonna take you through into the most awesome walk-in wardrobe. I would have loved this. Would still love it. <laughs> yeah, it's not past tense. Yeah, we've got loads of rails, loads of space. We've even got like a nice makeup table here with the spotlights coming down. And then in here we have the ensuite, which switches to tile. We've got the toilet in the corner, kind of like a low basin with the shelf, and then a huge shower with a massive rainfall head above. Yeah. So Tom, we'll just peek and so you can see kind of the other room, how yes. similar it is. And in this one, we've got the sheer blinds that come down. You just press a little button and got the blinds blackouts come down. as well. Yeah, so we've got the blackouts, which are needed. And then once again, same in the dressing room. Yeah, absolutely. Even this area though is so yeah. cool. We've got like your own little dressing area. Exactly, there's even a little wine cooler yeah. down there. And that light above your head so is stunning. so cool. <laughs> cool, it's like right? A big flower. Right, now coming on this way. Again, with that dark wood flooring all the way through here. Yeah, I love Same it. wood, it looks awesome. Yeah, and then it's all along here too. Worth noting that we have the floating staircase here with the glass encasement. Looks so good from the outside yes. of the property. Looks amazing from here too. We're gonna walk up that shortly, but first, principal suite time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna come straight in. We've got the mirrored wardrobes here, very tinted, it looks stunning. And then we've got a nice seating area. We've got the round couch with the lamp above it. Once again, with the carpet here, huge king size bed with the kind of leather backdrop. Once again, with the tinted mirrors beside it. Now this one is really cool. So you can pull this away and there's actually a TV behind it that comes out. Yes, so swings out sort of over the TV. Yeah, and watch it. And it's really nicely it. hidden. Yeah, it is, isn't it? <laughs> and then we have the huge windows. Now coming into my favorite part of probably the house, I can't lie. <laughs> yeah. We have this walk-in wardrobe. It is incredible. Wow. We've got so much space. We've got this huge skylight that runs down the whole of it. Just go all the way to the back for Shall me. I? And it even has like an electric button so you can pull a blind all the way across it. But yeah. <laughs> Look how big this is. This is huge, it is it's like massive. a boutique. It literally is, we've got so much. We've got all the shelves, loving all the designer boxes in here. Nice touch. We've even got mannequins so you can style what outfit you want. Prep it for the yeah, next exactly. day. And then a nice dressing area too with plenty of storage behind the mirrors. Yeah. Coming on through to the ensuite, it is stunning in here too. We've got the freestanding bath and it's kind of bespoke wooden Ooh, I suppose yeah. it's obviously added on. We've got little recesses in there for products and we've got the frosted glass window there for some privacy in the bathroom. Now we have the double basins here with the mirrors, lights either side. It's just such got, it's got a, such good ambient lighting. Yes, in yeah, here. great mood, like it was downstairs, yeah, really definitely. relaxing. Very like a moody house, not in a bad way, but yeah. you know what I mean. And then we've got the toilet in the corner here with kind of a little divide to keep it separate. Here's the shower, yes. It's this big. So we've got a massive recess here with mirrors and then check out the size of that shower head. Massive rainfall shower head. We also have under floor heating throughout and we've got a nice little detachable shower there. Yeah, nice. Yeah, so we've got loads of room in here. But we're gonna come on back out. It's worth noting that the smart control system Tom said about in the beginning, also up here, you can control yeah, it. Yeah, it's in most of the rooms. It's anywhere. really convenient. Exactly. Now. I'm gonna take you up. Oh, sorry, I really wanted to stand here in the middle yeah, yeah. box, but I'm now gonna take you up to the final floor of the house and show you the rest of the bedrooms. I'll see you Stay up there. Up. We're now on the final floor of the property. So let's go check out this first bedroom up here. Very nice. We have like a snakeskin wallpaper here and we have the same dark wooden features that you find throughout the property. We've got the access point out there to the balcony, inbuilt storage, TV with the Sonos speaker. And then in here, have a very nice ensuite. I'm liking the kind of gray tones here. The shower, Tom, is ginormous. Look at this, 
all this space. Yeah, that's And then we've got <laughs> all these recesses for your products, as well as this tinted shower wall. Yeah. Very nice. Okay, anyway, backing on out. Backing on out. So then up here as well, we have this kind of like little sitting area. We've got the artwork, some cozy chairs. Just a nice little chill yeah, spot. Yeah, it looks awesome, this little lobby area. Yeah, it looks really cozy because of like how the roof comes down. Yeah. Anyway, in here we have another bedroom, which is very similar to the one we were just in. Slightly different design with like the interior style and a smaller bathroom. But other than that, identical. Nice, we've got some inbuilt storage here too. And a coffee machine. Yeah, hotel vibes. <laughs> Right, so now we are in the final bedroom of the tour. Once again, inbuilt storage. We've got this kind of zigzag wallpaper here. And I love how the bedrooms up here, how the roof, you can see it like goes doot, doot, doot. Yeah, like <laughs> follows, yeah. Yeah, we've got a nice minimalistic white furniture in here too. We've kind of a desk area with the TV. And then in here we have a very similar ensuite. Oh, but actually, we found this, Tom. We've got the double basins up here. Victoria Albert ones, Ooh, so nice. very nice. And yeah, we've got the blinds in here too. Yeah, nice bedroom this. Anyway, so now we're coming out from the access point onto the balcony. We have got blinds there. And yeah, we've got so much space. Like behind Tom, we've got loads of space and it's actually shared between the three bedrooms. And yeah, we've just got some amazing views out, haven't we, Tom? Yes, we have. Have a look at that. We sort of have a look towards the back. Yeah. That looks really good, that. It does. Anyway, guys, we hope you have enjoyed this video. It's worth noting that we are obviously in Greater London, so we've got so many train stations around. I think the closest one is Rickmansworth. Yeah, it's about station. 10 minutes away. Yeah, so travel to central London is so easy. M25 is only about 20 minutes away, so the travel is... Yeah, really convenient. Convenient here, yeah. But we hope you guys have enjoyed the tour. Make sure to leave a comment down below on your favourite part. Don't forget to like as well subscribe and we'll see you in the next door.